You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. Today we're going to be talking about the topic of can you get in trouble for flying over people if you're inside? I know it's probably a controversial thing, but we're here to set the record straight and tell you a story about what happened at the most recent AUVSI networking event where people were flying inside over the FAA's head. So stick around, find out exactly what happened to those kids who were doing that. But today's episode is brought to you by our own little conference, the 2018 Drone You Fly-In. Second annual fly-in happening between August 2nd and August 5th at the Albuquerque Balloon Museum and Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta Park. We're going to have 10 exercises where you're going to learn how to fly subject tracking, how to do mapping, inspections, and so much more. You're not going to want to miss this conference as it only happens once a year. Gain confidence, make friends, and make memories for life. It is the Drone You Fly-In. Check it out, DroneUFlyIn.com. Hi, boys. Here's the question. I was talking to Blackheath, and I said, if you want to fly inside, you want to go indoors, man. Is it worth it with a drone? A lot of risk, especially when there's people around. What's your answer, boys? Should we do it or not? Is it really worth the indoor to take a drone? Couldn't you just get one of those stabilized cameras and do the whole thing on a pole? Thank you. Thank you for the question. Ask DroneU.com if you have a question. And we do get this a lot. Flying inside for, from various perspectives, there's not probably enough information here to really give them a good answer. But generally speaking, what do you think about think, flying inside? I think there's a. I think it's really easy to give them a good answer. Well, then, awesome. Uh, <laughs> give them so, a good answer. So uh, it's not navigable airspace. It's inside. There's a roof, a net, a glass ceiling, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is a ceiling. It's not FAA jurisdiction, and flying inside. Uh, you could pretty much do whatever you want. There are no regulations. But what I would recommend is if you are flying inside, it's, number one, more difficult than you think. Number two, problems can happen occur faster than you think. Number three, you should be flying in attitude mode. And number four, you should probably have prop cages uh, or prop guards on so you don't run into someone's dome. Uh, now, at the most recent AUVSI conference, we actually uh, it was really interesting because a couple of the racer kids were flying around their little mini whoop uh, quad around the networking event, like down into the club and back out over FAA heads. And it's really interesting. You want to know what happened, Rob? I can't wait. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep, no one said a word. They all thought it was funny. Even the FAA people thought it was funny because they knew they couldn't do anything about it. Certainly, yeah, what are they going to do? Exactly. So I think the long and the short of it is you can fly inside. Just you got to be smart about it, guys. I mean, I've seen people at weddings flying inside over people's heads without prop guards on. Yeah. It's just not a good idea. Well, and I think that's what he's asking. I mean, I think he's, I don't even think he's asking about the FAA. He's just wondering, is it a good idea? Or like, what are the benefits of flying with a drone inside? Wouldn't you rather just use an Osmo or something? What, why wouldn't you go that route instead of flying inside? I think that's what he's getting at here and tapping into your expertise from that perspective. Osmo, why not do that? Why not put it on some stabilizing system? You get too system? much Z-axis movement there up and go. down. There's that. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that was a weird motion. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. Shortest episode in history. Perfect. And I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.